Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining the Iowa Association of Business and Industries Weekly Business Report. My name is Steffi Lee, and I'm the Legislative and Communications Intern here at ABI. This week, we have Natalia Boychenko Stone from ABI member Holmes Murphy. And you might have seen Natalia's blog on the Holmes Murphy blog, as well as in the business records newsletter, Fearless. And thank you for taking time to share your perspective with us about the ongoing events in Ukraine. Um, so tell us a little bit about growing up in Ukraine and how you moved to Iowa. Steffi, I grew up um, in Ukraine in Korsun Shevchenkovsky, which is Cherkasy Oblast or Cherkasy region. Uh, Cherkasy, I bring it up just because it's a sister state to Des Moines. Um, so we have a lot of close relationship to the area. Um, I grew up back home and went to a special school that specialized in science and languages. Um, and we, our, our um, school had a program with Cherkasy or, or with Des Moines. So through a different school program, that's how I actually got to know of Des Moines. And when I was in the ninth grade, I believe I came to Rockville City Lytton um, High School for a month and a half exchange program. So that was my first exposure into the United States and also just the school system and understanding what it may look like um, here in the States. Of course, at the time, um, I have always loved Ukraine. I don't, I never run away from Ukraine, but what I found in the United States is the opportunity, the opportunity of the American dream. So just like we have immigrants that come here for college, for education, for just bigger opportunities, that's what I saw and that's why I came here. So fast forward a few years, um, I studied TOEFL and went through the application process into college in the United States and actually came back in 2001 um, as an international student. So that started my journey um, actually here in the United States. As the events are unfolding in Ukraine, what has it been like? seeing the images and the videos and hearing from family and friends back home here? You know, it's even difficult to answer the question. Um, it's heartbreaking beyond anything you can express in words. I know if you don't have family there, it's still difficult to watch, um, especially when you have close friends and close, close family members um, that are experiencing this, it's extremely difficult. Um, you know, even my friends from school yesterday, they were taking their kids to the park and going for walks and they were, they had jobs and they had future. Now, today marks a month of this war, but overnight they are now not going for walks. They're actually in bombing shelters and they don't know what the future may look like. It's, it's extremely heartbreaking. It's extremely difficult to watch. Um, and also seeing places you've known and places you love being destroyed for no reason at all. Not that there could have been a good reason for something like this, but there is no reason whatsoever. Um, it's just heartbreaking beyond belief. And what is it like seeing the support and the outpouring of community from the Iowa business community? The Iowa business community has been fantastic. I can't, um, I actually have a list of different businesses and contacts that have reached out and asked for ways that they could be involved or the ways they could help and what they can do to be somehow engaged and what, what they could be doing. Some businesses have reached out just saying, here's what we are doing and here's what our plan of action is. And that's been so wonderful to see. Um, I am, and actually just this morning, I spoke to Sister States um, organization, and we are working through what their fundraising efforts look like. Um, I know that um, we have um, other things that are being planned out for April for concerts and other fundraiser events that are coming up. So it's, it's wonderful to see just the activity and the desire to help. I know we will find ways to help Ukraine. Um, whether it is to those in need there, or maybe it is to those in need that will be coming into the community as refugees. And you talked a little bit about this, but from your perspective, what can we reflect on amongst ourselves as business leaders and as an overall business community about from the war in Ukraine? Mm -hmm. You know, many things come to mind, Steffi. I, um, and every day I reflect on the war and you try to take out some positives. You know, if this is happening, 
what are some of the positive lessons that we can take away from something horrific like this? Um, you know, and, and one of the things is obviously Ukraine has become a unifying, a unifying country for all of us. So all other countries of the world are watching Ukraine to stand up to a bully and really bring all of us together to help themselves, but also to think about life and why we're here in a little different light. And I do think this is not just, it doesn't just happen overnight. I do think we'll be learning through this experience for many, many centuries to come. And this is going into history books and understanding you know, what a power of one community, how powerful one community can be if you come together and you have one goal um, and one mind to get something done. So courage and this unifying power and just courageous spirit has been um, wonderful to watch from every, every angle. And for ABI member companies who have any questions, what's the best way to reach out to you if they would like to show support or want to reach out to other Ukrainians? I would say to anyone interested in helping, please reach out whether to me or any other Ukrainian people you know that are working on something like this. There are many, many ways you can be helpful. Um, and there are many, many ways that you can get involved today. Thank you again for taking time to share your perspective. Thank you, Stephanie.